Well, I'm going to make an announcement. This is news to you. Hopefully, I can get Chop Shop before I leave here today. And if you want to blame anybody for the reason why I'm going there, you can blame Leah Murphy. What's up, everyone? Welcome back to Here's the Thing. Here's the thing. We are in a state of recovery. Do you get that? Do you know what that means? What recovery looks like for us at this point in time is bringing things back, getting into the swing of things, reintroducing to ourselves our friends, seeing our family again, going to the movies, going to the mall, not needing to wear masks everywhere, and most importantly, reintroducing the sacraments, just reintroducing everything back into our lives, which leads me to say, if you are able to go to mass in person, if the dispensation has been lifted, and even if it has not, but you are able to go to mass in person, do it. You need not wait any longer. I have notice that a lot of people, a lot of Catholics, have become so accustomed to going to Mass online. And that is it's so good and it's so great. The fact that Mass can be shared and aired for people to see and participate in all over the world within the comfort of their homes. But now that things are beginning to be okay again, let's not forget the importance of being there in person. The importance of receiving God, not just a wafer, not just bread, but actually going and being able to receive God and be able to receive him in communion, physically in communion with the people that are there with us. Now that things are beginning to be okay and we're in this recovery mode of introducing these old parts of our life, bringing them back to life, you know, getting back into the swing of things, I think it's important to take a moment to not just consider why it's important to attend these things in person, but to also consider what being away from them has been for us, how it has spiritually impacted us, how our relationship with God may have changed, and how now that we're able to do more things in person, how that's going to change our relationship with Him again, and hopefully for the better. I have no doubt in my mind that the Lord has worked in countless lives during this pandemic, that he has touched people, that he has reached people in the silence, in their solitude, alone in their homes, or even with their families, with their friends, whoever that they have spent majority of this last year with. And that's good and that's great, but that was also temporary and for a season. And now we're entering back into a time where we can get loud with each other, we can praise together. We can worship as a community. We can attend mass. We can receive the Lord into our actual bodies and not just long for him. So if you're able to do that, this is me just encouraging you to do that, to take advantage of it. So note of my prayers for all of you. This is a huge, 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 huge thing. Very incredibly exciting. Mass is back. Conferences are back. Camp is back retreats are back. Everything is slowly starting to come back. I hope you guys are having a glorious day. Thank you so much for stopping by. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up like. Subscribe to the Life Team channel. Let us know how you're feeling about things, precautions being lifted and taken away in your own area. What you plan on doing with this new time, this new season, and how the Lord has worked in your life this last year and how you anticipate he's going to continue to work now with things being introduced back into your life. So we'd love to hear from you. I hope you guys have a great rest of your week. Say a little prayer for me and stay holy, my friends. Bye.